I think this project represents bad planning and poor timing. By the administration's own admission, times are tough, and it is fiscally and morally irresponsible to ask taxpayers to absorb more debt at this time. This project is a $5 million publicly financed banquet and wedding facility. This project isn't about public benefit, it's about enriching private interests. Projects funded by the taxpayers to this extent should benefit the majority of the public, and this clearly does not. The town of East Haven is plagued by many problems that do affect the majority of the public, many of which we've heard tonight, including the decaying library, dilapidated public works, police and fire departments, and a crumbling road system. Is it right at this time to borrow $5 million to finance the building of a banquet hall for political supporters when our infrastructure needs repair? In my opinion, keeping the existing infrastructure in good condition can promote growth more effectively than capital expenditures. But the Maturo administration's own estimates are annual invest return on this investment will be minimal compared to the $5 million that we're putting into it. This is not Joe Maturo's money. This is the taxpayer's money that they're asking us to spend tonight. And the planning of this project needs to include the full participation of the town. I believe that this administration has, contrary to what they say, has made little effort to accommodate the average citizen. Most folks didn't know what was going on to this, with this project until they came here tonight. In large expenditures such as this, the information should be disseminated through the media, and it should get exceptional, exceptional care when bringing that out to the people, an extraordinary effort. This administration has proposed a blatant example of how people with connections manipulate the government, and by, by the mayor's own admission yesterday, they're gearing this project toward ORNL to manage the company. It was in the paper. I have a copy of the paper. They're one of the biggest political supporters of the Republican campaign. That is not fair. Now it's the council's turn to vote on this, and we're supposed to serve the checks and balances against the mayor. And I just hope that the people on this council will display the integrity and character that I know that they have and do what's in the best interest of taxpayers. We have a responsibility to end this fiasco tonight. And I want to know what's wrong with putting this decision in the hands of the taxpayers. I am fully prepared to take this matter to referendum. I think we need to let the people decide how this much of their money should be spent. And I thank you.